Hey, good afternoon, and welcome to the second video in the GYG Summer Video Series. Stop, look, and listen. Look and listen, baby. That's my philosophy. Last week, we talked about how busy summer can be, and you were given two different challenges. The first was to have a conversation with your family about different summer goals. The second was to spend some time and get to know another family in the youth group. So how did you do? Did you make time this week to talk with your family about their summer goals? What were they? And how about that second challenge? Did you spend time with a new family that your family wasn't already spending time with? Now, I know that would have been pretty difficult in just one week, especially with all the things that we have going on, but have you started making plans yet? If not, get to it. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I am pretty exhausted. You know, this week at the Germantown Church of Christ, the GYG has an event that we do every year during Memorial Day weekend. It's called the Ultimate Youth Rally. And we have hundreds of teens from the Tri-State area coming in and being encouraged, playing games, and listening to amazing gospel messages. If you participated or were one of the many volunteers, thank you so much for being a part of this amazing weekend. This year's guest speaker at the event was Wade Bauer, a good friend of mine and a preacher I worked with in a previous congregation, and a guy I still regularly save the universe with on Xbox Live. But having my good friend Wade Bauer here this weekend got me reminiscing about the past. You know nostalgia is a powerful force, especially the older you get. It's the reason the Star Wars franchise just came out with their latest movie, Solo, A Star Wars Story. And despite the first movie coming out in 1977, a whopping 41 years ago, the franchise is as popular as ever. Nostalgia can move us to do more than just buy movie tickets. Today is Memorial Day, a day in which we remember and honor fallen soldiers. On holidays like today, it's important to remember what others have done for us and how we've been blessed through the actions other people have taken. So that leads to this week's challenges. You ready? Challenge number one. Remember back on people who have helped you get to where you are today. Was it a parent or a grandparent? Was it a friend or a colleague or coworker? Was it a neighbor or fellow student? We all have been blessed by someone in the past. I want you to share who that person was with your family. And if they're still around, Send them a card, give them a call, shoot them a text, or write them a message, and let them know just how grateful you are, and say thank you. God's Word is also a great encourager. You know, I don't know about you, but there are several Bible verses that hold a very special place in my heart. I'll go ahead and share one of my favorites with you right now. One of my favorite passages is Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 through 21. It reads, For this reason I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with power through his spirit in the inner man, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, and that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ, which surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled up to the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly, beyond all that we ask or think, according to the power that works within us, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. I love this passage because it's a prayer that Paul prays not only for the church there in Ephesus, but also for Christians today, that we might be filled with the love and the knowledge of Jesus Christ. So part of challenge number two, Think and pray about your favorite passage and share that passage with your family. It may seem like a simple thing, but it can have tremendous impact. And as always, remember in the midst of these challenges to stop from your regular routine, look to the Word of God, and listen for the message that He has to share and the message that your family is sharing with you in that moment. I'll catch you in the next video, and I'll look forward to hearing how you... Look and listen.